Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Yan. Muli tayo po ay magpupurit, magsasamba sa ating Panginoon. Hindi man po tayo magkakasama physically, pero tayo po ay united spiritually. Ayan po. Pero bago po tayo magsimula, samahan niyo po muna ako sa isang maikling panalangin. Tayo po ay panalangin po. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for, for this Sunday na pinagkalob niyo po sa amin, Panginoon. Kayo po ang alam namin na nagbigay po nito at nagpatuloy na uh, nagkalob po sa amin ito, Panginoon, Lord God. Uh, salamat po sa lahat ng pinagkalob niyo po sa amin uh, for this whole week, oh God, sa blessings, oh God, sa katalinuhan, oh Lord God, sa ka- aming kalakasan, oh God. Alam po namin na kayo po ang uh, nag-provide po nito sa amin and we acknowledge it, Lord God. And patuloy nga po na Uh, give us uh, knowledge and wisdom, Lord God, and understanding sa aming pong pamumuhay po dito sa mundo, oh God. And kayo po yung patuloy na mapupurihan po namin nawa, Lord God, for this Sunday, masamba, mag-glorify, o oh, Panginoon, at maunawaan po namin ang mga teachings po ninyo, Lord God, and marinig po namin yung boses po na, ninyo, Lord God, sa preaching po ngayon, ngayong linggong ito, oh God. At patuloy nga po na mas lumalim pa po ang aming pananampalataya, pagkakilala sa inyo, at ang Uh, patuloy nga po na mas, uh, mas isik pa po namin kayo every day of our life, Lord God. We, may we glorify you, Lord God. May we bless you yan, sa aming pong pamumuhay po dito, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po. Kayo po yung patuloy namin pinapapurihan, pinapasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sige po, tayo po yung magpuri sa ating Panginoon. One, two, three, go! You are the God who lives. You are 
are the God who heals. You are my hope, my everything. You brought salvation to us, all for your peace to the world. You are my Lord, my everything. your peace to the world. You are my Lord, my everything. I trust, I trust in you. I trust in you. I trust in you with all my I'll trust in you, I'll trust in you, with all my heart. You gave it all for me. My soul desire, my everything. All I am is devoted to you. How could I fail to see? You are the love. That rescued me. All I am is devoted to, and oh, how could I not be moved, Lord, here with you? So have your way in me, 'cause Lord, there is just one thing. That I will see. This is my cry. My one desire is to be where you are, Lord. Now and forever, it's more than a song. My one desire is to be with you. Is to be with you. Could fail to see. You are the love that rescued me. All I am is devoted to you. And though, how could I not be? Just one thing that I will seek. This is my cry. My one desire is to be where you are, Lord. Now and forever, it's more than a song. My one desire is to be with you. Is to be with you. This is my cry. My one desire 
is to be where you are, Lord, now and forever. It's more than a song. My one desire is to be with you, is to be with you. the Lord. Salamat po. Yan. Salamat po sa ating uh, production team. Thank you for always uh, ready to minister. Uh, and uh, salamat po sa effort nyo na patuloy na kahit may mga changes sa ating mga uh, setup sa ating worship service eh talagang hindi tumitigil ang Lord sa pagkilos niya para sa atin and eh. Yeah, uh, praise to the Lord po doon. Salamat din sa ating music director. So, let's move on to our uh, message ngayong umaga. 
Salamat po una sa lahat sa Panginoon dahil uh, atuloy siyang tapat sa atin. Marami po ngayon ang nakakaranas ng uh, ng sakit uh, sa ating sa ating iglesia, mga kapatiran. And, uh, kasama na rin po ako at ang aming, aking pamilya. But uh, praise the Lord sa mga nananalangin, sa mga nagpapaabot ng tulong at ng concern. Uh, una kayo may isa-isa but Salamat po sa bawat isa sa atin. And we know that all things ay naalaw ng Panginoon for our uh, greater uh, intimacy sa Kanya and uh, uh, para din ma-practice ma- ma- natin on how we should really love each other. So, tayo po ay nasa series ng newness ngayong January. And last last Sunday, binahagi po sa atin ni Pastor Voltaire yung uh, Isaiah 43, the new, new beginning. And nakita natin doon at natutunan natin na uh, may gagawing panibago ang Diyos. At in-emphasize din doon na kailangan natin kalumutan yung former things. Not just the pains, not just yung mga mga bagay na nakaraan, mga, mga bigat, but Nakita natin sa context na yung former things ay yung even yung mga bagay na magaganda, yun pala, na iniidolo natin, na uh, minememorialize natin. And we forgot uh, yung, yung Diyos na gumawa ng mga magagandang bagay na yun at natali tayo doon sa mga bagay na yun. At salamat dahil yung new thing uh, na-emphasize ay si Jesus mismo. That in the, even in the wilderness, nandun ang Panginoon eh we can really trust him. And nakakatawa dahil pag January, naalala ko, binalikan ko kaninang umaga, uh, during, during sa planning ng leaders, nag, nag-talk, ako, nag-talk ako about about uh, about the, the offenses. At ang yung offenses ay isa sa senyales na mad, mad, padating na ang padating na ang Panginoon. Uh, isa siyang uh, sign of, of birth pains that they will, that people will betray one another they will they will hate one another so oh, binalikan ko yung date uh, January uh, and, uh, but, uh, year 2022 I think January for February 2020 January nga 2020 2020 two, two years ago and uh, nung 2020, yun yung nag-start talaga ng pandemic and ang dami, may taal volcano eruption, ang dami, ang daming mga earthquakes. So, in the, and ngayon, uh, 2022, ay uh, nag-surge ulit ang, ang COVID-19 virus, uh, lalong-lalo na yung Omicron variant. And parang nakita ko din sa balita last, uh, two days ago, meron, meron pa isang bago pala. So, but, ano, uh, I praise the Lord na kahit po ganito, ay kahit po ganito ang nangyayari, we as a church were really trained and put our hearts and minds doon sa most important thing. And we should not be shaken. Uh, dahil when it comes to January, January pag, pag, pag pinag-usapan natin yung word ng newness, anong bago? Bago bang, magkakaroon ba ako ng bagong boyfriend or girlfriend na inaasam-asam noon pa? Uh, ngayong, ngayong taon, ngayong taon ba ako magkakaroon ng bagong bahay? Ngayong taon ba ako magkakaroon ng ganito? When we talk, we talk about new, new, newness, or new things from the Lord, ano yung nasa isip natin? Lord, uh, new business, pwede. God can give all of those things that what a normal pe- person would really want to have. A happy life, a good life, a a good a, 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 uh, good, fa- a better family, a good marriage. We we want better version of what we have right now. Pero 
ngayon po, pag-usapan natin, uh, second Sunday is no desire. Let's read from uh, the book of Psalms 73, verses 25 to 28. Ito po yung ating uh, scripture uh, ngayong umaga. Let me read to you. Verse 25, whom have I, whom have I, whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. You put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you, but for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell all of your works. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your word this morning. May we be encouraged. May we have a new perspective, new desires of wanting to know you deeper and deeper and deeper. Speak to us. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So, bago tayo pumunta doon sa ating binasa kanina sa, sa verses 25 to 28. Tingnan natin yung buong context ng Psalm 73. So, uh, ang title ng Psalm na ito ay A Psalm of Asap. Si Asap ay isang singer and musician ni David and after ni David ay uh, si Solomon naman. So si, si Asap was an organizer, a leader for the temple choirs in the days of David and presumably for Solomon after him. He, he is also a composer. Uh, para po yung kaninang uh, naglead sa atin ng worship kanina, o, diba? Uh, kaya niyang maging tatlo. <laughs> Praise the Lord sa ano, sa ating worship, uh, sa ating music director thank you for the effort uh, at napakabilis uh, Thursday night I think lang natin na inform niya nalaman na na mag, mag wala tayong face to face so uh, ASAP ay parang si katulad po ni Ogi uh, music director parang ganun po so si ASAP ay eh, eh, nagse-serve siya sa 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 temple in the days of uh, King David. So, siya po ang sumulat ng Psalm 73. Now, nagsimula yung Psalm chapter 73 sa isang declaration ni, ni Isaac. Verse 1, sabi doon, Truly, truly God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. Yun yung verse 1. God is good. Truly, God is good. Kaya lang may problema. Verse 2, may problema si, si Asaph. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. God is good. Pero sinasabi ni Asaph, pero ako... Pag sinabing almost stumbled, sa Tagalog, basahin ko po. Uh, ito po ang sinasabi. Kay buti ng Diyos sa lahat ng taong ang puso'y malinis, ngunit ang sarili ko'y halos bumagsak. Sa paghag, paghakbang ko'y muntik ng madulas. Uh, Asap, was struggling to really comprehend the goodness of God because of what is really happening maybe inside of him and kung ano yung nakikita niya sa labas. Makikita niya atin mamaya yung reason bakit, bakit siya nag-struggle to believe that God is good. But he is declaring God is good. Uh, naranasan niyo na ba itong ganitong ganitong sitwasyon sa buhay nyo. May, may, may life and faith struggle. Uh, 
is is God is God really good? Does he really cares for me? Can he be trusted? Why he allow sickness and pain and suffering in these words in this world? So na nakukuha niyo po ba ang, 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 ang senaryo or yung nararamdaman or yung struggle ni, ni Asa? Truly, God is good. But as for me, gusto ko nang bumagsak. Gusto ko nang itigil na paniwalaan yung goodness ng Panginoon. Is He really for me? Why I am suffering this much? Why I have a failing marriage. Why I don't have a father and mother like this? You know, life and faith struggle is real. Even sa mga katulad ni Asaph, even sa mga pastors, even sa mga leaders, even sa lahat sa atin, Christians. Is God really good? Meron kasing wrong connotation ng goodness eh. But we will look dito sa, sa book na to and let's learn from Aesop on how he really managed to to cling to God despite of his struggle. So, i-ask nyo po itong question na ito sa inyo ngayon. Anong pong nararanasan nyo ngayon? Uh, are there times in or moments in your life when you have to face and deal with a person who has really hurt you? Meron pa kayong mga mga tao na hindi na, nakakaugnay at talagang putol yung relasyon nyo because of I don't know kung pa, bakit ano yung mga dahilan but meron bang ganito sa buhay nyo? You, 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 really, you really need to to face those uh those situations are there failures in your life related to a specific sin you feel condemned you have bad decision and nagkaroon siya ng negative effect on you do you have any souring souring family or friend relationships mm, hindi na nagiging maayos yung aking marriage, yung, yung relationship ko sa aking asawa, uh, maraming mga friends ang, ang, ang uh, nadi-disconnect. Are you experiencing this this uh, this situation in your life? And nangyari ito nung Christian, Christian na kayo? Meron bang, meron bang ganong pangyayari or uh, or, or, or thinking sa sa isip nyo sa akin kasi mayroon mga ganyan pumapasok sa isip ko na kung kailan ka naging mabuti kung kailan ka sumusunod why, why are those these things happening? Number four are you trying to do your best trying your best to serve and do ministry and still, people walks out on you. Ay, sino po nakaka-experience ito? Mga parents, ha, ha, number five, have you given the best years of your life to raising your children and only see them indifferent and grateful for all you have done for them? Number six, sino po nakakaranas ito ngayon? Are you sometimes shaken up by depression and anxiety and sadness, loneliness, feeling empty. Ito nangyayari to when you're serving the Lord. Now, pag-iisipan natin, pwede ba yun? Nagbiling ko naman ako sa Diyos. Eh, bakit ganun? Yeah, ito po yung nangyayari ngayon kay Asap. Or, are you simply discouraged right now? Maybe for no reason or for many reasons. Are you discouraged? It's 
truly God is good. But why is Asaph struggling to believe that? Mabilis kasing sabihin, God is good kasi nakapasa ako sa exam. Ngayon nakuha akong bagong trabaho. But what if you struggle to to you know, to see the goodness of God as you serve Him parang walang nangyayari all the pains of people you see them you know, ini-imagine ko kung paano naging faithful si Asap in serving the Lord and mamaya makikita natin din kung even kine-question na niya yung pagiging paglakad niya ng banal sa Panginoon. Now, let's see. The reason why Asap is struggling to believe that God is good. Na gusto na niyang bumagsak at tumigil. Ay dahil dito sa sa first uh first three I think ito. Yeah, verse 3. Truly God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Naiinggit si Asap na siya ay nagiging lumalakad ng matuwid. Pero bakit yung mga masasama, sila yung nagpa-prosper? Hindi ma-imagine ni Aesop, nahihirapan i-comprehend ni Aesop itong reality na to. At hindi ko, kasi, hindi ko na po kasi babasahin yung buong, buong uh, Psalm 73 dahil kukulangin po tayo sa oras. Pero yung mga sumunod na verses, papakita kung paanong naging prosperous ang mga wicked. Ba ba bakit yung masasama? Sila pa yung masaya. Parang ganon ang sinasabi ni Aesop. Hindi sila nakakaranas ng hirap. Sabi po ni Boise, If God is in control of things, the plans of the wicked should flounder. They should even be punished openly. The godly alone should prosper. But that is not what Aesop saw. That is not what we see either. Hindi yun yung nakita ni Aesop. That, that, sinasabi dito, eh, kung si God talaga ang may control ng mga bagay-bagay sa mundo, dapat yung mga masasama papanish. Hindi sila, hindi sila, mag, 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 hindi sila magpa-prosper. Dapat yung mga godly lang. Pero hindi yun yung reality. Hindi yun yung nakita ni Aesop at hindi rin yung nakikita natin sa mundong ito. Yung mga masasama sila pa yung nasa posisyon. Sila pa yung hinahangaan ng mga tao. Sila pa nga yung gusto ng mga tao. Hindi sila nakakaranas ng hirap. Lagi silang VIP. That, that's the reality. But that, nakita natin yung mga magnanako sila pa yung Yung masasama, sila pa yung ah, talagang yumayaman. Yung mga hindi Christians, yung, yung mga degenerate, ibig sabihin, unbeliever. Mga hindi born again. Like particularly, sabi ni Boyce, part, like particularly virac musicians or even movie stars, they are well paid and sought after. Even criminals are they are getting rich by selling their crime stories. That, that's the reality of this world. And the ang problema ni Asap, Lord, you truly are good. But why? Pag nakikita niya yung prosperity ng mga wicked, lalo na sa pag nagserve ka sa Panginoon, and you feel like God is not in favor of you. You 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 want you want to live holy lives, but harang nagsasuffer ka palalo. Bakit? 
sumusunod ka sa Panginoon, pero bakit yung masasama? Dali nilang mag-prosper. And ikaw, minsan, di ba, you will not be appreciated by people. You serve God, you give your life to the church, to His people. And you, will, you, will, you will still experience different kind of mockery, slander, gossip. That, that's the reality of Christian life. So we need to understand how we can really cling to the faith that we have. Ito pa ang, ang declaration ni Isa. Dahil nakita niya yung prosperity ng mga matasama. Isa felt that it was vain for him to be pure in heart. Vain, pag sinabing vain, baliwala. Baliwala pala Lord na maging mabuti sa harapan mo, maging malinis sa harapan mo. Parang sinasabi ni Asa, ayoko nang maging lumakad sa kabanalan. Dahil hindi naman ako nagpa-prosper, yung masama pa ang nagpa-prosper. Tingnan niyo yung nangyayari sa puso ni Asa sa mga oras sa dito. Sinasabi to ni Asa, parang nagko-complain siya, di ba? Nag-aask siya ng questions, Lord. Why is this happening to me? Parang ganun. All in vain I have have I kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. Sinasabi ni Asa, parang baliwala. Bakit yung iba may boyfriend at girlfriend na ako wala pa rin? Gusto ko nang mag-compromise, Lord. Don't do that. Don't do that. I know somehow Asaph feels the struggle in your heart. But amazingly, in verse 13, Asaph received understanding. Naunawa ni Asaph. Paano niya naunawaan? This is the secret para sa akin. Actually, dinagdag ko lang tong slide na to kaninang umaga. Uh, when we struggle to really see the goodness or, you know, we cannot comprehend or understand what God, why God allow things to happen in our lives. Pag nahihirapan tayo na, 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 na tingnan yung mga bagay, Lord, bakit may ganitong sa buhay ko? Bakit ako na struggle ng ganito? Bakit ako naiinggit? For us to understand what what is uh, what God is really doing. Ito po yung nakita ko na nag, nag na, na nangyari kay Asap for Asap to receive an, an understanding. But when I when I thought how to understand this, it seems it seemed to me a very some task. So nung nung ini inawa ni ni, ni Asap yung mga yung mga nangyayari napapahagod siya uh, sa, sa sa tingin niya sa tingin niya ay ano uh, kaya niyang intindihin eh lalo siyang bumabagsak mas lalo siyang nahihirapan kasi he cannot comprehend but this is the secret for us to discern through discernment sabi dito until I went into the sanctuary of God. Now, pwede pong sabihin natin na ito ay geographical. Sanctuary of God meaning pwedeng, pwedeng a place, literal place, but there, there's no sanctuary during that time. Tabernacle, I think. Uh, temple. Pero, uh, it can, it can, it, uh, it, uh, ang, ang, tamang, ang tamang term po dito ay uh, until I went into the holy place. God. And until I went into the presence of God. Sometimes we don't understand what is really happening around the world. Um, 
you know, madaming nagkakasakit, madaming namamatay, manawala ng trabaho, etc., etc. At hindi, again, hindi po exempted ang Christians. God can can protect us. God can can really bless us and it be in favor with us. But God can really allow things to happen in our lives for His glory, for His purpose. And if we don't see that, we don't understand that, we will fall, we will fail. But Asaph understood until he went into the presence of God. And then I discerned their end. Nag-struggle si Asaph. Naiinggit siya sa, mga, sa prosperity ng, ng wicked. But, but, he discerned discern what will happen because he went into the presence of God. Aesop was struggling but still clinging. Ah, nasa context pa lang po tayo, ha? nasa intro pa lang. So, sabi dito sa verse 21 to 24, Thus my heart was grieved. Nagkaroon, nagkakaroon na po ng confession dito si, si Aesop. Sinasabi niya sa Lord, nagko-complain siya sa Lord. Sinasabi niya sa Lord, naiinggit ako, Lord. I was grieved in my heart. I was vexed in my mind. And kino-confess na, Lord, I was so foolish and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. But he's still clinging. Look, nevertheless, I am continually with you. Amazing. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me in your counsel and afterward receive me to glory. He uh, uh, Asap understood in the presence of in the presence of God. He understood what will really uh, is prepared for for those who love the Lord. But the struggle is real. But he's still clinging. Asap was downhearted. Ito po yung nangyayari sa 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 sa, sa buhay ni Asap. Ah, uh, may term po ako din natutunan, despondency. It was a downhearted, low in spirit. He, he experienced such but he experienced a change in his heart. So, ito po yung nangyayari kay Asap. He was discouraged, but he experienced a change in his heart from wrong desire, envy toward the wicked to write a new desire toward God. So, uh, we'll see now do, y- yung mga susunod na verses na binasa natin kanina. And meron tayo pong tatlong tatlong main point. Uh, tatlong, dis- tatlong main point patungkol dito sa uh, new desire. Actually, hindi siya new desire kay Asap. But, uh, but pinapaulit-ulit lang, pinire-remind lang ulit si Asap what, re- what is really the most important thing for him. So desiring God himself, desiring God even in the times of discouragement, desiring God's nearness will lead to proclamation. We will see uh, ano pa ang sumunod na nangyari or, or mga declaration or statement ni Asaph. So yun yung context until declare na ni, ni Asaph verse 25 ng chapter 73 Umabay in heaven but you there is nothing on earth that I desire beside you he was envious eh? Asaph was envious of the prosperity of the wicked he feel that all his walking in holiness and purity in service to the Lord ay baliwala but when he understood, he says, he said, whom have, whom have I high in heaven, Lord? Whom have I in heaven? But you, there is nothing on earth I desire beside you. Can, can, can all of us, Christ to the Philippines, Nagkarlan, really, really with all our heart, declare this? There is nothing on earth 
and there is nothing in heaven that we desire. Nothing but God alone. Can you really say that to God? God knows your heart. You cannot, you cannot lie to Him. If heaven were empty of God, would you still want it? You'll prefer God above anything else in heaven. The main reason heaven is so attractive is because God is there. If Jesus Christ were not in heaven, there is no reason to seek heaven. There is no reason to long to go there. Why do you want heaven? Because you want to be saved. That's shallow. Do you want heaven because you just want the salvation of God? Or you want the God of salvation himself? Do you want heaven because you want you, you, you want to to be free from suffering and all of the pain? Yeah, true. But but if you do not if you do not want God Himself, you're not born again. Because to know God is the ultimate. Ultimate to be with him wherever he is is the heart of a true born again believer. To be with him, to want him, to desire him, nothing more, nothing less, nothing on heaven, nothing on earth. We want we want the peace of God. Everyone wants to have peace. But they don't want the God of peace. They don't want to follow Christ. Many people want to receive joy from the Lord, but they do not want the God of joy. We need to put our mind and our heart into the proper place, into the proper perspective. We need to put God into, the, into His proper place in our hearts. To want Him above all else. To desire Him more and more. Mga kapatid, if you could live on earth in riches and in great luxury forever, yet you would be without the presence of God, would you? Why this pandemic eh, hindi na na Eagle, eagle. Because I think ang mga tao hindi pa rin natututo. Or I would say we Christians hindi pa rin tayo natututo. God in His in the, in, is God, do we put God in His proper place in our heart? And He will look at you, your heart right now. Where is God? We can offer a person whatever he wishes, but if he doesn't have God, he is miserable. To make you happy, God doesn't offer you treasures. He doesn't offer you silver or gold or a good life, good family, good marriage, good career, good things. Like, malapit na po ang tribulation, malapit na ang dumating. You still, are you ready? Are you desiring for a good life? But, or are you preparing for a great tribulation, suffering? Are you ready for that? To make you happy, He offers you Himself, God Himself. Psalms 27 verse 4. The one thing, this one thing, 
one thing, one and only thing that I desire of the Lord is that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. This one thing we forgot, we, for, we tend to forget this one thing. We have failed. Asaph struggling. Asaph had a struggle na talagang munti ka na siya, sabi. My, my feet has almost slipped. The one thing I desire of the Lord is that I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Do you desire this one thing? Christ to the Philippines, the Psalm 63, verse 1. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly, I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. To have newness, to experience the new, to walk into the newness of life. We need to understand not new, 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 new things in life, new, 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 new things. mga bagong pagkilos ng Dios. Yes, we want that, but we want a, a new desire for God. We need to understand this, Christ of the Philippines, nagkaran for us to be really preserved into His presence. Don't forget this. Huwag nga itong alimutan, mga kapatid. This one thing. This one thing. So, desiring God Himself. What do you seek and desire the most? What God gives or who God is? If you desire only what God gives, then you don't understand. The meaning of having a true relationship with God. Why are you in the church? Why are you serving the church? Why are you hearing this message? Desire God Himself. Next, desiring God even in the times of discouragement. Now, He has declared. There is nothing in heaven and on earth that is more uh, pleasurable, satisfying than God Himself. And then He moves on and says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Now this is very encouraging sa akin as I, as I prepare this message. Let's look at the term, my flesh and my heart may fail. My flesh, my heart may fail. First, my, fle my flesh. That means there's a physical component. The body weakens, there's fatigue, there's a sense of listlessness, sluggishness. Naranasan nyo na po ba yan? Lalo na sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Ini-imagine ko si Asa kung gano'n siya katapat sa pagbilingkod as a music director as as a music as a musician and singer and worship leader physically ba tayo bilang mga cell leaders bilang mga leaders ng iglesia there's we, there's fatigue we, most of the time na, napapagod tayo Kakasakit. Our body weakens. It will fail. So, na nag-fail na yung flesh ni, ni ano, ni, ni physically, ma siguro maaari matanda na rin siya. O nakakaranas siya ng, ng uh, ano mang karamdaman. We don't know yung context though, but Aesop is uh, telling us my flesh is failing. Second, my heart. Actually, sa, sa age ko nga po din ngayon, 
for me, uh, nakakaya ko po yung mas mas okay pa yung sa akin na napapagod na po po yan. Carry po siya. Pero, dito po ako nahihirapan. And I believe many of us struggle also dito sa second part. My heart may fail. That means there's this emotional, spiritual dimension. Our hearts are discouraged, dejected, gloomy, burned out. Nagpipay. Emotionally. Emotionally. That's the hard part for me. And isa nakikita yun ng asawa ko. Sometimes you don't know where where is it coming from? Sadness. But we keep on clinging. My heart, we know. We understand. We can understand Asap that his flesh, his heart are failing. And the third word, fail. Ang sabi dito, this word means come to an end. Run out. Be exhausted of resources. It's like your life is a tank and in it is water. May water sa buhay mo. Parang isang tayo, ang buhay daw natin, isang tanke at purong puro ng tubig. And that you need you need for refreshment. Kailangan mo ng refreshment. May alam mo ma-refill. Pero somebody pulls the plug at the bottom. And it just all runs out. You're exhausted. Sa, 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 sa yung Hebrew word ng fail is kala means come to an end. Depleted of resources to handle problems in, in, to, to handle problems in life. In life. So, may mga ganyan moments pa sa buhay niyo. You are running out of resources. Don't know. Your marriage is failing. You keep on. You just want to stop. There's so many problems. Marami kayo madidiscover ng problema sa family. As if wala nang katapusan in your heart and your flesh are failing actually hindi po dapat hindi po hindi po ang term ay my flesh and my heart may fail wala po daw na wala daw po na may yung 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 yung, uh, yung word na may wala po siya sa Hebrew may fail ang correct translation daw niya ay, my flesh and my heart are really failing There's no me implied in the Hebrew verb. It's just my flesh and my heart are failing. I am discouraged, exhausted, depleted. Ito po yung sinasabi ng term, yung phrase na to. You're just running out of resources. Nararanasan po ba natin ito sa mga oras na to? your flesh, your body, your heart, your emotion, your emotional, spiritual dimension are almost empty, burn out. But I just want you to see the next two words that comes next. Next, sinabi ni Asap, my heart, my flesh and my heart are failing. But God, but God, but God, we will fail. We will be exhausted. We will be depleted. We will be discouraged all the time. For me, I experience kasi all the time. But God, sabi ni Isa, but God. But God is my strength and my portion forever. But God is the rock of my weak, failing life, my portion forever. He's my strength, my everything. 
my inheritance. Pag sinabing my portion, He is my inheritance. He is my reward. When Asap understood, yes, I am en- envious of the wicked. They prosper. Many follow them. Many likes them. They have a good life. But God is my life. God is my portion. God is my inheritance. Pag sinabing portion, inheritance sa, 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 sa Greek word. Hindi yung division or divided. But my inheritance, God is my reward. He, he, I will have God. I will have Him. I will meet Him. I will be with Him. That, that, that's what Asap is telling us. Hold on. Keep believing. Keep desiring Him. Keep following Him. Keep yourselves pure. Though your flesh, your your heart are failing, but God is the rock. Trust God. Though your strength is gone, kahit wala ka ng lakas, trust Him. It will lead us into proclamation. Desiring God's nearness will lead to proclamation. Let's move on to the last point. Then he moved. On verse 27, Asap said, For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. And you put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you. But for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may, that I may tell all of your works. Tingnan muna natin itong warning. May warning. To those who are far from God. Yes. Pwedeng mukhang, mukhang masaya ang mga wicked, ang masasama. They, they prosper. But sinabi ni, ni Asa, maliwanag sa kanya, na nagkaroon siya ng discernment. But those who are far, far, far from you, those who are far from God will perish. And hindi lang yung malalayo, yung mga unfaithful sa kanya. You will you you put an end to uh, to everyone who is unfaithful to you. A warning. But let us learn na talagang we we need to desire God, nothing more, nothing less. Because if we are not united with God, no human spirit can be saved. No human spirit that is not united to God can be saved. Those who are far from thee, sabi ni Clark, shall perish. They shall be lost, undone, ruined, and that is without remedy, being separated from God by sin. They shall never be rejoined. And great God must be between them and their maker. And their oh, what a great separation that we do not want to, to experience. We may, we may experience suffering and, and discouragement and, and failings deep to earth. It's okay then to be separated from Him forever. But for me, sabi, but for me, sabi ni Isa, but for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell all of your works. It is good to be near you, Lord. There is nothing I desire beside you. I want to be near you, God. It is good to be near God. Kung ano ang malapit sa puso mo, kung ano ang laman ng puso mo, yun ang laging magiging bukang bibig mo. Isap, 
telling us. If we are near to, to Him, we will tell all of His words. No, 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 no. We will tell of Him who He is, what He has done, and what He teaches, what He taught. So don't force your people to proclaim Christ. Cell leaders, don't force your cell group members to proclaim Christ. I will tell you a secret. No, hindi na to secret ngayon. Tell them, command them to stay near. God. And they will tell all the works of God in their lives. Don't force people to do evangelism. Tell them, be near God. Desire God above everything. For surely, surely they will tell about Him. Because what is in their heart will be manifested. you desire God's nearness above all else, you will proclaim the mighty works of God in your lives. Asap realizes that he is blessed now even without the prosperity he envied. Because he desires something more now. Something more now. Naingit siya, pero ngayon, meron na siya na mas better possession. He desires something greater. God's closeness. His relationship with God. He's a new God. He's a testimony of faith having come uh, through a great struggle of discouragement, gloomy burnout, and exhaustion, still he will testify of the good works of God for others and to hear and know. To hear and know. So in conclusion, in the midst of all the pain and all the darkness and all the hurt, all the unmet longings of this life, all the taking up your cross daily, Lahat po tayo ay talagang nag-struggle dito. We are, it's so painful. May mga longings tayo na hindi na, namimit. May mga heart aches. Tapos, hirap na hirap din tayo talagang pasanin yung ating cross. Pero we can say, we, we can stand up in our faith. We can scourge up the faith and say, Lord, humabahay in heaven but you. There is nothing I desire. There is nothing on earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart may fail, Lord. But you are my strength. You are my reward. You are my inheritance forever. So even if even we are discouraged, if we desire God, we can still proclaim Him. Thus, this is the anthem of those who walk by faith. Because we know that truly God is good. God is good even you're sick. God is good even you, you are in poverty. God is good even you're suffering. God is good. Because He's near to us. And He clings to us. And He has shown His love for us. At most. Supremely at the cross, when Jesus laid down his life, giving us his only son, he died for us. Yet while we were still sinners, he's good, he's good, he's good. God is good, no matter what. So I want to challenge you. Basahin ulit natin yung Psalm 73, 28. But as for me, para sa akin, it is good to be near God. 
I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell all of your works. If you are a Christian right now, keep casting your eyes to him. Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. Keep clinging, keep trusting, keep walking by faith, seeking to be near him, making him your refuge. And keep believing, keep believing that over and over again. Thousand times over and over again, sabihin mo sa iyong sarili, God is enough. Lalo na sa mga moment that you don't feel like it. You don't feel like God is good. You don't feel like God is enough. Keep telling it to yourself over and over again. God is enough. There is nothing I desire besides you. There is nothing I want more. You, you are all that I want. You are all that I need. Oh God. This is all great. Oh God. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Forgive us if we have doubts, Lord. Your goodness, your faithfulness. Sometimes it's hard to see. Do you really care for us? Do you really love us? Why we suffer? We have problems. Sometimes it's hard to believe that, Lord. But we know you are good. You are. Lord, our flesh and our hearts are failing. You are our strength and our portion forever. Thank you. The boy ni Asap. Thank you. The chapter na ito na pinag-aralan namin. We pray that this will be an encouragement to each and every one of us. There will be times of tribulations, trials in our lives. But this psalm of Asap will be a reminder for us that there is nothing that we should desire. Nothing else. That even in our painful and darkest moments sa mga buhay namin, we can still say that God is good and that it's good to be near you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We will still praise you. We long for you. We want you to come, Lord. Be with us. I pray for those who are in pain. Come to them. Comfort them. To those who are sick, heal them. To those who do not have God. To those who are in, to those who are in, in doubt, Lord, save them. To those who are in sin, forgive them. Lord, it's good to be near you. Hold our right hands, Lord. Hold our right hands, not just as an individual, but as a church. Pray, Lord, I pray. Thank you, God, for your word. May we continue to encounter you moment by moment, to experience your nearness moment by moment of our life. Thank you, God. We all own the glory and honor and praise. May the, may the, may the uh, love of God the Father in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. To God be all the glory. Amen. Let's continue to give praise to our God because He is the strength of our hearts. Let's sing this song. God is the strength of my heart God is the strength of my heart God is the strength 
Oh, my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Forever. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is nothing on earth that I desire beside you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart in my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart in my portion forever. Let's see. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For the last time, God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 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 